All right, Aaron. So, am I looking at the camera still? Like, you I can look at Dylan. Actually, we're not pulling you for the pressure. Uh, I have to check base with you. Yeah. Something very strange has happened. What's up? So, I understand you found the idol for your tribe. Yeah. Before you found it, the other team found it. Gotcha. I'm a little unclear. I was on wondering the about that. But I understand there was some sort of mix-up in the process of you finding it around the same time that it's being rehidden. So I wanted to touch base with you in the interest of fairness of the game. I think you have a right to know. The other tribe probably knows you have it. Why do you say that? Why do you say that they know I have it specifically? I understand that you were heard in that area around the time that they saw production rehiding it and that they heard your voice in that area as it was being rehidden. Okay. So Dylan just pulled me aside, told me something. <laughs> interesting uh, which was that apparently when I found the idol it had already been found by someone from the other tribe long story short not what production intended not in the spirit of the game so it was rehidden however they know that I have the idol so that's something um, love that Dylan told me about it I think it's as fair as it's gonna be um, I'm cool with it I'm cool with however this shakes out and if I'm smart I can figure out a way to make this work for me so good luck just thought it was Thank fair you. to kind of give you that notice because that was never Part of the game plan yes so I'll let, I, I appreciate it i think you're handling it fairly of and you course. hit it at tribal i nice. did yeah i did we're going straight to launch where yeah. is that up the hill. Uh, they'll walk you up the hill. just right up there yeah. this is embarrassing but i'm gonna pee real quick <laughs> there's a bat there's a bathroom up there okay i'll catch up all right um well you yeah. said you were peeing yes so there's no footage of where you hit it nope there's no footage um I can reenact it if you like. That's okay. <laughs> uh, peeing and all. And then at last tribal council, when everyone was leaving, I did my whole, oh, guys, you're not gonna believe it. I have to pee again. What's wrong with me? Ha ha ha. And then I hid the idol behind tribal council. I'm not gonna go looking for it in the woods. I'm gonna trust that like when you wanna use it, Yeah. but you should be aware like we can't let you like leave camp to go get it to come back. That's if your team ends up back at tribal. <laughs> Why hit it at tribal? Okay. Yep, that was the plan. That, Figured I would use it at tribal, you know? <laughs> Probably. Usually. That was the plan. All sorts of possibilities. And I really think it's all due to my pioneering urination strategy. So um, future survivors take note. Basically, our tribe found their immunity idol. We found ours as a team, and so basically, we're like, well, there's two bridges on the way to these challenges. Maybe theirs is also under a bridge. You know, we check, it's right there. Knowledge is power, it's good to know that it exists. So pretty excited to at least know that they have it. Um, you know, we may or may not know who has it. There's, there's one, either we play that and we kind of try to get him to flip to us, or we tell someone in their tribe who's like under to blindside him and get rid of the idol. We know that Eric has an immunity idol, so we're definitely gonna use that to our advantage. And we considered actually telling some of the team members on their team so they could blindside him, but um, then we wouldn't know who has the idol. So this way more information is power. So public enemy number one, it's good to have one of those, yeah. honestly, yeah. it's like, makes yeah. it easy. But also because yeah. like, he's yeah. enough of a threat where I was like, no, no, like, don't, don't. Yeah, yeah don't. He, I mean, he seems very personable, yeah. seems likable kind of thing, so. Yeah. And really he's does. very strategic. Okay, so. The next challenge requires a steady hand. Your tribe will come together and move as one to carry the ball from end to end to win it all. 
Hmm, so it sounds like we have experience doing this. <laughs> I don't want to burst our own like bubble, but I feel like I want to get too confident, but I feel pretty good about balancing a ball. I wonder if it's like a bunch of pairs of ropes. So like if you're standing across from me with two ropes, and you two are standing across from each other with two ropes, we have to keep them together to have a square in the middle oh, that supports the ball. So people that I can work with, I can work with Jason, they gave me a little wink at the challenge. So to kind of, I took that as like a, hey, you and me, buddy, like we can work and be an alliance if we would like. I like working with Sarah. She's really calming and just a good energy that I like. And she also is one who found the other team's idol. So I love that. I'm trying to get everyone you know, to trust me as like divulging the information about Eric. I'm hoping that gives me a little leg up. I hope it doesn't paint me as someone who's like, oh, she's strategizing and like she has experience. So that's the only like downside, which I'm hoping no one really is like gonna think about too hard. Jason might, but again, I wanna work with Jason. So hopefully they don't care. All right, you ready to get back to your next immunity challenge? First things first, Jason, gotta take it back. Uh, oh. Coming back. Three, two, one, D up! Do you guys have a dance or? Oh, you'll see. You'll see. It's after coming. This. All right. <laughs> Once again, immunity backup for grabs for today's challenge. Each team has a metal ring with a ball ballast on it with five strings coming off the metal ring. You just gotta get that ball across the field. There are a couple of checkpoints you got to pass through, as well as each team is going to have to step through a hula hoop. If at any point you drop your ball, you got to come back to the most recent checkpoint. Once you reach the end, you have to work together to lower the ball onto a glass stand. Once the ball is on the stand, you win immunity. Diem, you're up two players, got to sit two people out. Who are you sitting out? Jason and Sarah. All right, give you guys a second to get ready and we'll get started. Good luck. It's a lot of brain power. I know. I'm like, can So, how close can you get to somebody? I feel pretty good. Yeah, I feel like you do. Oh, that's too much. Don't do that. Don't react that much. Don't react that much. Yeah, but that's it. That's it. All right. Survivor's ready. Yes. Go. Three, two, one. Yeah. 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 Jean takes the lead for her team. Get it, DM! Woo! Let's go, Diem! Yeah, so you walk towards him, Gabby. Hold the tension because Gabby's going to let go. Yeah, yeah. 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 We have to hold it tight, Carl. Yeah, we're going to hold this yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. Right. Hold it tight, Carl. Sorry. No, you're good, you're good. Talk. Uh, no matter what. Oh, okay. All right, now we have to move. Purple drops, gotta reset. I can't even see it, guys. I hope I don't knock it. What did I just do? So you're good. 
Wait, wait, no, spread out. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Ready? No! Guys, I wasn't ready! Go slow, go slow. Hey, everyone talk. Yeah. Run. Okay. Ready? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, this is harder. Okay, hold on. Oh my god, you guys. I can't get it back up. Yeah. Close on the other side. Okay, close to the ball. Yeah, that's very hard. Easy, easy. He's the closest one. Do you have a hard time recovering? Harpy expands their lead, but one wrong move could send it off crashing down. Watch the ball behind you. Watch the ball behind you. Okay. Yeah. No, no, go, yeah, yeah, go, yeah. go, good, slow. Come on, guys. You're supposed to have this through. Right, so now, yeah, yeah, yeah. now, Jeff, I'm gonna move this way. You slowly move towards Gabby. All right, I'm gonna do the turn, okay? There you go. You get a really nice. Keep holding it taut on your side. Team taut. <laughs> so we, I, I guess to get a third person, but you guys have to keep it taut. We have to get a third person through and then we can spread out on the side. Yeah. A little bit low on this side still. Um, okay. Yeah, good job. Okay. Cut, and then we're gonna. That one. <laughs> that one. I'm going through. to slowly. Wait, so I have no tension right now. I'm going to slowly walk this way to balance it. Uh, 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 shaking. Okay. This is going to your drift. I'm walking towards it. Right. Diem, nothing for you. You're gonna visit Tribal Council a little bit where one of you will be the third person voted out of this game. Send you back to camp to make your decision. We'll see you soon. Good luck. Sounds good. <laughs> so exciting, first win. Didn't drop the ball once. We were magnificent. Like, thought we were perfect. It's nice that we get to come back to camp. We don't have to worry or strategize. Oh my god, we can actually we want I know. just have a granola bar. What are we going to do with oh our <laughs> Probably build a hammock. Uh, oh my god. I know. I'm down to chill for a little bit. I still think it'd be nice to like keep talking and like. I don't know. I'm not trying to be pushy about it, but I do think we should find an idol if we can. Oh my god, yes. Oh, Stabber Hunt. Looking for the idol. Where could it be? Where could it be? 
Simon's like that. Uh, in here or in a tree. Like it could be anywhere in Millennial Park. I'm just trying to find an idol. Since we kind of agreed, we would just as a team would try to find it. Because Eric's right. It's better if we find it as a group than we don't find it as a group. Dude, I'm not looking up. Yeah, see, I keep looking up at too. I mean, someone's got to have it. I don't, well, I don't know because I'm looking around like a dummy. Yes, and I'm just like, like, I don't know. So I kind of want to give up. Like if they want to find it, right. they can find it. <laughs> I just feel like I'm looking and it's like I know, all the same. Nothing, and I'm like, yeah. I'm sweating. Okay, I think I'm going to move that tree. <laughs> Let's look for it, dude. It can't be that far. I think it's gotta be near the camp. I think Dylan's a big Survivor fan. Probably in like a survivor y place. Eric totally has it already. Every depressing song out there. Uh, Man! God! This is not funny. <laughs> that was a rough challenge. There's this area of math called topology where you visualize these sorts of things a lot. And so, as soon as they started going through it, I was like, oh, this is how you do it. Damn. And we need long arms. So if I was the first one through, I could hold the hoop for other people because you only need three points of tension to carry the ball. So now we get to go to Tribal, and I don't know where people are at. I don't know if I've put a target on my back because I'm suspicious of everybody. We'll see where the cards <laughs> land. So what were you thinking, just in general, for votes? I honestly have no idea where anybody is at. <laughs> Originally, it seemed like we came to the consensus that we're gonna vote Jason out, but use Sarah as like our person we're saying we're voting out. Red flags that didn't go up for me for Jason. They seem, they seem strategic, but it's in like a fun way. <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh, are they someone to work with? Want to remove someone and try and make the team stronger? We were, yeah, I was gonna say, I feel like that's kind of where we were like kind of leaning. It's just like how Sarah wasn't very good in the first challenge, so I don't know if we just mm -hmm. like could do her. If there's a name that's thrown out, I'm just gonna vote for it because it's one of those like. It's the first vote, no one wants to vote anyone out. No one has set alliances yet. And until I'm told otherwise, I feel like if you could somehow keep a group dynamic where it's like, okay, we're all voting this person and they don't know, sweet. But what were you thinking? We did just have a chat that if, if there was to be someone that we should make a move for, it should be Jason, because they seem to have the most like insight and like the most strategy. Like they seem to be more in the game. Like that's sort of, now it's a threat. I personally, before, I wanted to work with Jason and I wanted to get Gabby out because during the ring challenge, I think it's because the adrenaline was hitting her. It just like became overwhelming. She didn't know how to turn. Nothing against her, just how it's kind of played out. Before talking to all of them, that was my move. But now, like it's not bad to go with a majority right now. Like I don't want to be like making moves. Everyone paint me with the minority character who we all want to get rid of. So I think I should vote Jason. So... What are you thinking? I think our strategy right now, the group was talking about voting Jason off um, and then scapegoating me and telling Jason that everyone's going to vote for me. And I think everybody seemed on board with that. I wasn't sure about Karina. She was holding her cards pretty close. I'm not sure if she's on board with that plan. What are you thinking? really hard. Guys. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so we were thinking Jason. They've been really good like with the challenges and stuff um, but we just think later on they might be kind of a bit of a more of a threat to us. I'm frankly a little nervous that when I'm not there they're gonna be thinking about me. I feel like I am not like being social enough so I think that's something that if Jason does go home, they're going to be thinking of me next if we have to go. So I'm going to try to be a bit more social. I've been hearing a lot of people say your name and a lot of people say Gabby. People want a strong tribe. Got it. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if I want a stronger tribe or if I want to take off like Jack. People are saying you. 
Some just go gather. Yeah. Are you guys, how are you guys feeling? Not great. We still <laughs> thinking. I think that's just the easy vote. My thought is that like, right now it's so early though. Like I so yes, if the general consensus is yes, I just like to put up the thought of like there's still a strong player though, and we want to win challenges, right? So that's like where I'm at now where it's like challenge wise, they still seem very strong and they sat out this challenge and we lost. So, like not saying that they're the reason we win, but like I think we all knew going into it, like when we were starting, we were kind of making jokes, being like, uh oh, ha, ha, like final seven. But like we at least I knew, I don't know if everyone else thought that, but like I knew the bubble was gonna burst and that you had to sort of make a place. So I was, I'm always thinking like, at least who am I gonna go to that feels best for my and my heart. I don't know to tell you who I wanna vote for. So, just so you're aware, just so like everyone else, like, call them, come for you. We're going to split the tribe right now, basically. So moving forward, like make your pact and stay in the majority right now until you can emerge. Diem, welcome to your first tribal council. So you're a pretty interesting tribe. <laughs> For sure. I don't normally have conversations with full tribes, but you did pull me aside after the second challenge to talk about not just finding the other tribe's idol, but you found yours as a group. So Jason, do you feel like that changed things around camp after an idol was in the camp? I think so. I think, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut through a little bit here. I I know my name's going around a lot. I've been playing hard, a bit too hard, and I get it. Like, y'all are a bunch of more chill people, more relaxed people, and I played my hand a bit too hard, a bit too fast. But when it came to what I did, how I was playing the game, I've been open about it since that first little bit. Like, I, I searched through the purple bags, on my own, looking for something, I was open about it. Because when it comes to who I am and what my strategy is, I wear my heart on my sleeve. And I mean that, and I'm purple. So post-merge, you have my vote. I know I don't have a social capital. I know I'm, I'm on the outs, but that's what I'm worth. Sarah, how will you know that your tribe made the right decision at this vote? Ooh. Well, I think it's, it will be hard to have a certain answer to whether or not we've made the right decision. Um, but I think what might feel nice is afterwards we get back to camp, assuming I'm there too. Um, <laughs> and uh, and we have a good, um, maybe like some sadness, but a sense of like relief and connection as well. I think would be nice. On that note, I think it is time to vote. Jason? You're up first.
All right, the votes have been tallied. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you want to play it, now would be the time to do so. All right, once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. I'll read the votes. Jason. Gabby. Jason. Gabby. Tied two votes Jason, two votes Gabby. Jason. Three votes Jason, two votes Gabby, two votes left. Third person voted out of Survivor Millennium Park. Jason. Jason, that's four, that's enough. Ride or die. Let me see Jason. Thank you, Jason. Ride or die. Thank you, Jason. Jason, the tribe has spoken. It's time for you to go. Very interesting tribe got through a very interesting tribal. Now we have to see if you can reclaim the momentum that you've lost after that challenge. Get your stuff and head back to camp. Good luck. I knew it was coming. Feels bad. I think I got voted out because I played too hard. I was a bit too suspicious of people. I was closed off before I opened up and I thought opening up would be helpful. Showing my loyalty would be good. I came out here. I had fun, I played hard, got played hard, and I hope for the best for them. Next time on Survivor Millennium Park, the tribes square off in a battle of the wits. Both the tribes will go to war. And things heat up for the paddle people. Did you think the idea of getting rid of Jean?